Edit. So I read a book by Max Tegmark. Actually, Duff Hawkins suggested it, so I read it. And it was called this Ma Our Mathematical Universe, something like that. And he has this idea of three different realities. And this totally hits home for me. This, when you're talking about AI, this is, a, this is a great way to think about it. You've got three different realities. First of all, there's like true reality. There's the reality, external reality, he calls it. There's the reality that's out there. And um, it's everybody observes it. Everybody has a window to that reality. Um, but, uh, but nobody has a complete view of that reality, right? Now, then there is internal reality. So I have my own internal reality. It's represented in my brain. You have your internal reality. It's represented in your brain. Um, there is no way for me to completely share my internal reality with you. The way we do this is through a third type of reality that Max Tegmark calls consensus reality. That's the reality that we're both existing in right now. It's the reality in which I'm speaking words to you and you're understanding those words or trying to understand those words and making an internal representation of them as you're trying to understand these concepts. So I have this internal reality that I'm trying to project through the consensus reality, through education and through this Twitch channel, for example, so that all of you can update your internal realities to have a better understanding of my internal reality, right? Does that make sense? So think about AI now, because there's no way that my internal reality could be interpreted by you. There's no way, unless you took my head off and put it on your neck. And in that case, who are you anymore, right? There's no way I could freeze all the neurons in my brain. I could map them all out. I could put them all in a computer. There's no way you could make sense of that. There's no way anything could make sense of that except me, period. And you know why? because all those representations are based on my body. They're based on all of my experiences I've ever had. As I, I, I did this interview with a neuroscientist, um, I've done too many of these, Michael, uh, I follow him on Twitter, I'm sorry. Uh, he's a, a motor, uh, motor guy, he, did, he does motor inference stuff. And I asked him, what is it? <laughs> Somebody jog my memory if you can. It's, uh, it's on my YouTube channel. It's on the YouTube channel under interview with a neuroscientist. Um, and he, I asked him, what happens in your brain when you go reach for a cup, right? What happens in your brain when you reach for a cup? W what is activating? And he's like, well, it's like the sum experience of every time you've ever done, ever reached for a cup or ever done anything with your hand comes into play when you do that. Like there is no separating the way I reach for a cup from me, from my identity. That internal reality cannot be separated from my experience. Right? I, you will never, you can never understand if my interpretation of red is also your inter interpretation of red. That's, that's the idea. So with AI, you're going to have the same problem. If we're creating intelligence that's based off of how our brain works, even if we can explain all the minutia of the cells and, and the layers and, and what's happening here, what's happening here, you're never going to be able to take an internal representation inside of a common critical circuit that's down here that's related specifically to the sensory input of this agent and its experience with reality. You will never be able to compare that with anything else and make sense of it. Does that make sense? Now, that being said, we can create some really elaborate consensus realities so that we can communicate with these AIs once we get to that point. Um, but we're never, you can never expect to look into these cell activations that I'm drawing up here and expect to know exactly what experience that agent, that entity, that intelligent thing is experiencing.